Hello and welcome back to the Nauseating Nurgleites. Now I've had a chance to read a couple of comments at this point and uh, everything seems to be fine apart from the issue of uh, are we going to actually go and uh, settle at any point. Um, well I'm not sure if we can settle, that's my first thing. I'm not actually sure if Chaos can settle, if I'm right about them destroying um, the um, actual holdings we might, it might be next to impossible. Although I believe you can actually upgrade some of these to do it. Or something like that. I don't know. But I don't really feel like settling. Because if we settle, we lose all of our nomadic land. Like, we just forfeit it. And all of our land is nomadic. All the land we're going to conquer is nomadic. Like, all the way down here. Where, when do we reach non-nomadic land? Like, all the way down here is when we reach non-nomadic land. And even then, we would lose all of this. All of this would just disappear. And we'd be left with this. Like, that one bit of land. We'd have some event spawn troops so we could possibly go and get it back, but basically we'd be doubling the length of the campaign, as far as I, I see it. I mean, unless we conquered so much of, the, of this land here that it became more sensible to, uh, like, settle and then reconquer, I, I don't think we're going to do it. Like, just now. I, I don't know. I don't really want to do a world conquest, so it doesn't seem like that. I, I just want to become ever chosen or greater demon and see what events uh, chains go down that way anyway let's uh, have a look at where we're going to attack next we were going to attack these guys i think right they have zero men that seems like a great choice to attack we could who are they currently at war with they are currently at war with um the uh, sonjalaria so they're at war with those people and they're at war with the songer claim on uh Kajuan. Oh, so that's, um, our vassal is at war with them. And he has got a claim on Kajurin, which is this province here. And these guys are at war with him, and they are trying to take Kanje. What's Kanje? There is no de jure over here, so, um, I guess they're just trying to take it all? It might be a good idea to attack these guys. That, oh, they have more men than us. Hmm. I mean, we could attack. The thing is, if we, um... Oh, we don't actually have the, uh, the uh, Chaos um, reason to declare war here. Why don't we have that? We should have it. Mm, I don't know. We could do a, like, a uh, invasion. Of, oh, so there's, there's Kanji. Uh, we could do an invasion of it, but it doesn't seem that good right now. Uh, we also don't have population at 90% of max. Uh, let's just wait a couple of days, see if it needs uh, a little reset to let us have our Chaos invasion. No? Okay, maybe a month? Sometimes uh, when it's a CB that's not added by the game, it um, needs a couple of months for it to appear. Uh, nope, it's, we just don't have it. Okay. Well, we could leave them alone for just now. We, we have a... Oh, there's a revolt over here. We could declare war on them. Unholy subjugation. That's what we want. Uh, how big's the revolt? 500 men. We can do that. Right, let's get all the way over and declare war. There we go. Quick, quickly the player, quickly run in. We will, of course, call in all of our allies and vassals into this war, because that seems very sensible. Oh, maybe the reason we can't declare an unholy subjugation is because there is already an unholy subjugation being declared by the other country. That's possible. We have a son, an actual heir called Ogur. He is dim and hardy. Interesting. Not a great combination. Oh, he's also a twin. Oh, uh, we have a daughter. Who's a genius? Of course, the uh, daughter becomes a genius and the son becomes dim. Hmm. That's not great. Oh, we already had... Did we already have an heir? Oh, yeah, of course. We already have uh, Nazir, who's dumb. He's not dim. He's dumb. It, we're really not very good at getting sons who are smart. Let's amass wealth. That, that'll be our new ambition. Okay. Other side of the country. Off we go. Let's see if we can uh, reach that. Wife joined the war. That's fine. She's already in another war. She's not actually going to come to this one. And our vassal joined the war, but, I mean, he could come to this one. But I don't think he is. I think he's just going to siege down that province. Because these that was the war he was in first. Don't know what happened to all the music. Uh, the influence of chaos is strong in the province of Teal. The great portal is attracting everything towards it, and things have started to fall up rather than down. Hold tight. Uh, so we get huge morale of armies in Teal. But we lose local tax and levy reinforcements. So where's Teal? Um, 
Oh, it's up here. So if we were to fight here, we would get massive morale of armies. Which would probably just make us instantly win any fights. I don't entirely want to go up. I, I mean, we could go up there now that there's an army there. If they want to fight there, I'm definitely up for fighting in there. Because that would increase our morale of armies. I assume it's, it means us. It doesn't just mean morale of all armies goes up by 200%. Because that would be a little bit weird. Uh, that would mean that everybody would have to fight pretty much until all the troops were dead. Because they died before the morale dropped below 25%. So they would never actually retreat. I think it's our, our troops get the bonus entail. Let's, let's have a look. After enduring the aches and pains of your leprosy for what seems like an eternity, Grandfather Nurgle has decided to reward you for your perseverance. While you still feel the effects of your illness, they no longer hinder you. feel even more alive than you did before. Excellent. Um, oh, I didn't know that we had leprosy. I thought we were just ill. But now we actually have leprosy. Uh, which just gives us a whole bunch of negatives. But apparently we were getting bonuses for this. It doesn't say what bonuses we're getting. Maybe the bo uh, the trait is no long is just not true, or maybe we're about to die. One or the other. You know, it, either thing could happen. Uh, is our title being lost just because the other clan chief is stronger? I suspect it is. Yeah, because it will go to whichever person has the higher prestige um, out of the um, different clans, and he has more prestige than our clan, or at least my son. Right, let's head over to Torjan and grab that. Oh, it looks like we actually killed the um, the main guy's army rather than the... Um, yeah, we, we killed the... What would it be? Not the revolter. The uh, the uh, Orta Kid's non-revolt army is who we killed. Okay. I didn't realize that we were killing the wrong one. Someone's trying to kill our son. Who's trying to do that? Our wife is trying to kill our son. Backed by... Why is our wife trying to kill our son? Any particular reason, wife? My wife has magic. I didn't notice that. Oh, because that's not her son. This is our son by a concubine, and she wants her son to be in charge. Her son is slightly better. He's also a leper uh, and ill. Okay. Yeah, they're all pretty ill. He's just sickly, though. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Do we want the dumb person in charge or the dim person in charge? I think if... If he dies, I don't really care, is where I'm at with that. I mean, he is one year older, but, I mean, it's really not that big a deal. If he dies, we just get a better son. Which works out for me. 11% a day on this uh, siege should go pretty quickly, and once we take it, we'll have a 100% war score. I'm pretty certain we can get 100% at that point. We'll see, though. Fate smiles upon me. My concubine is pregnant. Fantastic. Maybe we'll get a uh, third son option. And this one will not be uh, dim. Oh, are we still in this war? We're still in this war. Okay, so what happened was the rebels won the war. I think the rebels won the war. And now we are at war for the same provinces. But we are now... Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We're at war for the same provinces. But we actually get to take it. I think. That's where we're at there. Like, we get to take more. And we're, we have a truce with the main group now. That's that's what I was going for. We have a truce with the main group. Alright, let's attack in. It should give us 100%. As you draw closer, you see your enemy as Adur. Shall you engage him? Um. Well, should we? His personal combat skill is negative 2 and ours is 1. So, I mean, I guess we should engage him. The battle is not yet won. Your enemy did his move and you uh, may assess and... Uh, the combat situation and choose proper response. Continue combat. The enemy did no, dam no damage. I would like to focus on offense. The battle is not yet won. Uh, the enemy did no damage and we did no damage. Focus on offense. Um, you have won, however, Adir has managed to escape. So we get plus 10% uh, morale. The dual system is very interesting. Not necessarily great, but it's interesting. Oh, we got this ill person. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to offer peace, enforce our demands. Oh, wow. We actually took a lot more than I thought we were going to take there. Oh, wow. Okay, so we can have an extra clan, and we have four... Um, like, the clan wants four bits of land. So what I think we should do is I think we should give them... Like, let's see. Are these all rubbish provinces? Yeah, we have a few bad provinces in here. So probably something like those four provinces and make a new clan. So, I would like to split... The clan, I... Mm, you have to split a clan. 
If I... Is there a way to split this clan? What would I need to get? Um, can only be used against self or most populous clan vassals. So if I was trying to split this clan and I wanted him to give up um, Nivik, he would say no. And then we would go to war. Um, it would lower their clan sentiment of me by 40 though. Which would be bad. That would be pretty bad. Uh, I guess we have to split our own land then. That's fine. We'll split our clan. Uh, let's give him... Um, Bortal first. New clan has risen. They are of course Nurgle. Everything is correct. They love me. Well, they won't, don't love me yet, but they will love me. As I'm going to give them Aral as well. Yep, Aral. Uh, oh, where is it? Grant land a title. I'd like to give you Aral. See, his opinion of me keeps going up. We'd like to give him Zanur. Uh, Zanur. And I'd like to give him Yupk. Uh, Grant land a title of Yup. There we go. Perfect. And now with this clan, he shouldn't be... He's not ambitious. So what we can do is we can instantly get the uh, form of Blood Oath with him. And that basically means he will join all of our wars without question. Um... Tsar of Dogen Clan is a clear Dogen Clan's war for Bullock on Great Tsar of Great Tsar. Okay, so where's this? Oh, so our new clan instantly declared war on these guys because they have very low numbers of troops. But you have zero troops, so that's an interesting decision. You gonna accept my uh, blood oath thing here? Oh, he did. He, we just didn't get pop up about it. Fine. So basically, what this means is um, he likes us. So he will always do whatever we want. Um, we hate him, so he will never do what we... The, he, this basically is like a never thing. What happens if we do inspect... Oh, so we can see the clan sentiment towards other people as well. I didn't notice that. Uh, but yeah. So basically, that's how it works. He likes us, so he will join all of our wars without question. Uh, I would like to declare war on this person next, I think. And uh, unholy subjugation of all of his land. That definitely seems good. We'll just head over there. Switch it back into uh, the proper map mode. Oh, so this guy, this guy is growing a lot. So if we were to declare war on him now, we still don't get the uh, Unholy Conquest. Is that because he's Chaos Undivided? And maybe because he's Chaos Undivided and all the other ones we're attacking are... Oh no, do we have the... We have the Unholy Subjugation on this guy. We have no one... Maybe it's because we've already used it on him? I don't remember using it on him at all. Is he, oh, is he still at War of My Vassal? It might be, he might still be at War of My Vassal. It might be the first theory was still correct. Okay, we'll head up here. Uh, how many more troops could we get? We have zero manpower right now, so probably none, but... Yeah, we can get up to 1k, but we have zero manpower, so we can't actually get any. Uh, do not have enough manpower. Yeah, it's currently reinforcing our army. We could wait for some more troops, but uh, I want to continue this conquest while it's still pretty easy. He's at war with two other people. I want to declare war on Holy Subjugation. The thing I don't get is why it only affects with that clan. The way I'm looking. I don't know why we can't declare war on them at all. It's a bit confusing, but I'm sure there's a reason. I just don't know what that reason is. It's probably a reason that I can't see because uh, it's not my war that's causing the problem. So we'll call this everyone in. Everyone will, of course, say yes. Fantastic. We have a very strong army now. We're just going to go to the capital and siege it because that's how you win against nomads. Nomads are pretty easy. Uh, like they're, they have a lot of mechanics, but a lot of them really just don't matter. You just kind of siege down until you win. Like you siege down the capital. I actually really like nomads, but uh, as you draw closer, you see your enemy is Koshan. Uh, should you engage him? He has zero combat, uh, personal combat. I shall defeat him. A battle is not yet won. Your enemy did his move and now you may assess the combat situation. He did no damage. Focus on offense. Battle is not yet won. The enemy did his move and you may assess the situation. He did minor damage. Focus on offense. He did his move. He did one damage. Focus on offense. Uh, you have won. However, Koshan has managed to escape. A coward through and through. Okay. That worked. We did lose some health. How does that affect us? Like, is that a permanent thing? Or I think it might just be for the duel. I guess... I can't see a health stat anywhere. Um, I might use um, a, co a console command called char info later, see if there's a way to uh, actually look at this. Of course, the daughter born is also quick. 
uh, all daughters will be quick and all sons will be dumb. That's uh, the fate of us. We really just need to change uh, the succession law to uh, cognatic so that only uh, daughters can inherit. And I'll just quickly go and check. Um, absolute cognatic, is that it? Uh, women inherit on the same grounds that men do. No, I want, um, I just want cognatic. Died of terminal leprosy. Well, at least, oh, they, they're, they're corn though. So I think because they're corn, they, they don't get any of the bonuses that I suspect we're getting to make sure that we don't die. So I think that's why they died pretty much instantly after they got leprosy. Because their health went down and then they, didn't, they had no bonuses to make it go back up. Right, we got some more land. Let's give it out. Clans want more land. We have space for another clan. I think we should allow the other clan to exist. Um, I want to give them this province, if nothing else. What other land do we control? Uh, we can. We have to give them a two province thing at this point. Cause, like, a, two, um, a three slot province, if you know what I mean. Opposed to this, which would, let's see, uh, opposed to this, which is a two-slot province. We could need to give them something more. That's fine. We could probably just give them that, um, these three? Yeah, that works. Oh, they've also declared a blood feud against the other, the other uh, clan. Fantastic. I would like to split our clan again. I would like to give the, um, Chamists. There we go. New clan. I would then like to grant you Sakir, or Sakar, and uh, Chamachata. There we go, Chamachata. Perfect. We're looking uh, in a good state. Time to declare another war. You, you have 250 troops. You have no allies. Uh, okay, we can declare war. Unholy subjugation of your whole land. Done. Straight in here. Maybe I was wrong about settling. Maybe we will end up settling at the speed that we're able to conquest with the CB. It is fantastically quick. Um, although we haven't faced an army that's actually stronger than us right now. Although that might be because we've expanded so quickly there are no other blobs to fight. Everyone's going to join the war. Good. That's really what we're aiming for. Once we finish this war we can actually just move one province over and win the next war. Minor title. Oh, one of our commanders died. Let's put in a new commander. Um, you are probably our best commander right now. Mm, yeah, okay, we'll put him in charge. And we will then put him in charge of everything. Right, over to the next province. I don't suppose you want to surrender without us taking anything? Nope. Fine. Move to the next province, siege, and win it. We haven't caught any prisoners, have we? Oh, we lost our marshal, he's died. Uh, let's put a new marshal in charge. Um, probably... That guy would have been great if we hadn't just made him a commander. How about we put the experimental uh, trickster in? Because I don't like experimental as a trait because it gives you random tactics, I believe. So we will put him in charge of that. And he can go train warriors in our capital. I actually didn't have him doing anything. I don't know why I didn't have him doing anything. Or maybe I did. Oh, I didn't have this guy doing anything because he needs to do clan sentiment. What is that on the side of his head? Oh, he has two heads. Oh, well, I suppose it's better than one. Um, who do you want to include, improve sad clan sentiment with? Probably with, um, Alter. That'd be my guess. Um, okay. Where's the Alter clan's base? Is here. So we will quickly get him to improve clan sentiment, and that basically means the clans will not revolt. And that's, that's the main mechanic with, uh, Nomads. You just have to make sure they don't, uh, revolt. After enduring the aches and pains of your Nurgle's rot for what seems like an eternity, Grandfather Nurgle has decided to reward you for your perseverance. While you still feel the effects of the illness, they no longer hinder you. You feel even more alive than you did before. Excellent, excellent, excellent. More alive uh, means that we have uh, Nurgle's rot minus five health, and is cursed to spread Father Nurgle's gifts. Oh, okay. Hmm, that's not great. I don't suppose our wife likes us a lot now that we have uh, all of these negatives, but. That's fine. Oh, we can assault this. It has absolutely no holdings. I guess they just took it themselves. Offer peace. Enforce demands. Clans want more land. We have space for another clan. I'm not going to make another clan yet. Uh, I'm going, instead going to give Evets an extra place because they like us and they want more. 
They, I say, does Altier need more uh, grazing land? Nobody needs more grazing land apart from Song here. Uh, they don't actually need more grazing land either. Which one of these is better? Oh, right. So we want to give them probably Nene and Mador. That seems sensible. I would like to give you Mador. And I would like to give you Nene. I just figured out why we might not be able to declare war on the people who were all the way over here. Um, before they're eaten. I think, I'm just looking at it here, we, yeah, we didn't, we might not have had a, um, we didn't have a border with them. That's why we couldn't declare war on them. It makes so much sense now that I look at it like that. Oh dear. Oh well. That, uh, that makes more sense. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.